So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil19 here and today in this video we're going to be doing my top 10 most anticipated figures of 2018 or most wanted figures of 2018. You guys wanted me to hold off to do my top 10 favorite figures of 2017 because you guys voted more on yes for me to wait for the figures that are supposed to release in December. So I'm going to wait for those figures to release first before I do my top 10 favorite figures of 2017 list. But for now, we're gonna be doing my top 10 most anticipated or most wanted figures of 2018. So let's start the list off here with number 10. And coming in at number 10, as you just saw, is the SH Figure Arts Justice League the Flash, very excited for this figure. I didn't know who to choose between him or the Superman, but we got a lot of Superman figures already, the Henry Cavill version, so I'm more excited to get a Flash figure. I would be more excited to get Aquaman, Aquaman but Tamashii Nations hasn't announced a release date for the SH Figure Arts Aquaman yet, but for now, it'll be Flash. Maybe I'll do another uh, top 10 most anticipated figures of 2018 when we get to like the middle of the year in like June or July, so we see what figures we're getting the second half of the year but for now it's definitely the flash i think tamashi nations nailed this figure they got the likeness down the uh the detail on his costume looks great and everything the only issue i feel with this figure is that they did make it a web exclusive which is an issue if you're going to be buying it in japan and they really gave no accessories i think you just get some interchangeable hands and that's it but Regardless of that fact right there, I'm still very excited to get this figure. I'm very excited to get all the SH Figure Arts Justice League figures like the Wonder Woman that's going to be releasing this month. So very excited for the Flash and the Superman. I feel like Superman would have been number 11, the SH Figure Arts Superman, if I made like a top 15 most anticipated figures of 2018. So that is my number 10, the SH Figure Arts Justice League Flash. And now coming in at number 9 is... The SH Figure Arts The Last Jedi Luke Skywalker and I've been wanting some import company Mayfax SH Figure Arts to make an old man Luke since The Last Jedi, I mean uh, The Last Jedi, <laughs> The Force Awakens. Uh, so going on what two years now and no figure company has touched up on making an old man Luke besides Hasbro which I do not collect so I've been waiting for an Im import company to make us a highly detailed articulated uh, old Luke Skywalker so very excited for this one to release it is very disappointing that it is a web exclusive so that is a big letdown right there hopefully he comes with a decent amount of accessories because usually with their web exclusives they chip us with accessories but regardless of that I'm really excited for this figure and hopefully Tamashii Nation stops jipping us with accessories with their figures in 2018 i noticed a lot of it in 2017 which is very disappointing so hopefully they start giving us more accessories like how they used to when they first started blowing up and getting extremely popular because you want to have more display options with your figures and the more accessories gives you those more display options but i cannot wait to see the movie on friday i think star wars is the number one movie I always get most excited for, even though it's not my favorite thing out there, like out of Marvel, DC, Dragon Ball Z, anime and stuff like that. I don't know what it is. It's just Star Wars. It just gets me very excited. I love those movies. Uh, they're some of my favorite movies, but it's not my favorite thing. You know what I mean? But very excited to see it Friday. Maybe I'll make a quick video about it so we can bullshit about it in the comments because Star Wars is just one of the greatest things ever created. So. That is my number nine. Now coming in at number eight is... The SH Figure Arts Thor Ragnarok Gladiator Hulk. And Hulk is just hands down one of my favorite MCU characters. He is one of my favorite Marvel characters. I just love the concept of the Hulk and I just also love the concept of uh, the Gladiator Hulk like from Planet Hulk and when I found out he was going to be in Thor Ragnarok, got really excited for it, couldn't wait for the figures and SH Figure Arts look like, it looks like they did a pretty damn good job with it. He doesn't come with as many accessories as the Mesco one, but I know he will have the superior articulation compared to the Mesco, but the Mesco will probably most likely have the superior detail and accessories when it comes to that figure, but very excited for that one to release. Always get excited when an MCU uh, Hulk figure is going to get released because like I said the Hulk is one of my favorite characters from the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the SH Figure Arts Gladiator Hulk 
just looks sick. So that is my number eight. Now coming in at number seven is... The Mafex, the Dark Knight 2.0 Joker. And really glad that Mafex decided to do a 2.0 Joker because their first one was just, meh. It was okay, it wasn't a horrible figure, but really wasn't the best figure. And this 2.0 one just, the detail from the promo images does look very good and I really hope the detail looks as good as it does in the promo images. Mafex is notorious for their figures not looking as good as they do in the promo images face uh, the like the fa face wise the, the paint mostly on the face. The sculpt of the face is definitely there as we saw with their new Wonder Woman figure. It's just they don't add enough paint or put the right paint on there and it doesn't make the faces look as good as they do in the promo images but everything else like their costumes and stuff look outstanding you always get a bunch of dope accessories and their articulation is good you just have to be careful with their extra tight joints or if you get some super loose joints you got to use some little tricks that the figure us figure collectors do know in the figure community so very excited for that figure to release because like i said it looks like a very big step up compared to their first one and their solo movie wonder woman figure was definitely a big step up from their batman vs superman one so really excited to see how this 2.0 joker will turn out so that is my number seven now moving on to my number six which is The SH Figure Arts Naruto Jiraiya and so happy that they are making Jiraiya this early in the line. The releases after that for their SH Figure Arts Naruto line I could really care less about. I'm going to get them regardless but they're, they're releases I really don't want them to make right now. I'd rather them make some more characters that everybody's everybody's like begging for pretty much. It, more characters that are more high in demand than Baruto and just an updated Sage Mode Naruto. Like, come on, Tamashi Nations, we don't want that right now. I know there's a lot of big Baruto fans out there, so I know you guys are very excited about that, but I believe there are more fans out there who want more characters in the line first. Yes, Baruto is a new character in the line, but it's just pretty much getting a Naruto figure, just his son. He's pretty much identical to him. But uh, the Jiraiya one, very excited for that to release. It looks like a dope figure. I love the Madara Uchiha that just recently released. That's probably either my second or first favorite in the line. I think Akashi is still the best figure in the line as of right now, and Madara is probably my second favorite. But the Jiraiya does look awesome. And can't wait for it to release, which will be next month. So really not too far away for that Jiraiya to release. So that is my number six. Now moving on to my top five. And coming in at number five is... The SH Figure Arts Goku Black. And this was kind of a big surprise when they revealed it. I didn't think they were going to make Goku Black next in their Dragon Ball Super line. I thought we were going to get hit next, which we really should have gotten next, but the Goku Black, I think, looks sick. I think they captured captured that character perfectly in figure form, and I think it's going to be one of the best figures in the line. Even though he's not one of my favorite characters, I know he is a lot of other people's favorite character in Super, at least. I don't know throughout the entire Dragon Ball universe, but he, he is a pretty cool villain, uh, and he is a body snatcher. That son of a beep. But uh, the figure, yeah, looks dope. I hope we get a decent amount of accessories. The articulation look, look, looks like it's going to be very well done, and the detail just really looks outstanding on that Goku Black figure. So very excited for that one to release. That's why it made my top five. So that is my number five. Now coming in at number four, and it is... The Mafex, the Dark Knight Bane. And I've been waiting for any import company to make us a Dark Knight Bane figure. We haven't ever gotten one besides by Mattel. And I will never collect any Mattel figures ever. Personally, for me, I think they're one of the worst figure lines out there. They're really outdated. Their articulation is so bad. That's why I refuse to ever buy a Mattel figure. And that's the only Bane figure we have from the Dark Knight uh, rises. We don't have any other six inch scale Bane figure. I know Play Arts Kai made one, but that's not six inch scale. So very happy that Mefex did jump on that. And I'm really hoping that the figure is dope as hell. I hope 
There's no issues with it. I really hope Mafex steps up their game a little bit more in 2018 because they definitely did in 2017. Still issues with some of their figures, but they did step up a little bit compared to the previous year, which I hope Mafex keeps doing because they do have a lot of potential and they do make some awesome characters that other figure companies do not make for us. So very happy that we are finally going to be getting a Dark Knight Rises bane and it, it looks like a sick figure from the promo images so definitely can't wait for that one to release now moving on to my top three and coming in at number three is the mezco 112 thor ragnarok gladiator hulk and i am way more excited for this one than the sh figure arts one as i was kind of saying before because the detail and the accessories look so much better compared to the SH Figure Arts. Like I said, SH Figure Arts will have the superior articulation, but I feel like detail-wise and accessories, that's where Mezco is going to excel over the SH Figure Arts. Hopefully the articulation is really good. I'm, I'll be so happy if it's much better than the SH Figure Arts one, because the SH Figure Arts one, uh, I'll just end up selling mine then if the Mezco one is that good, but the detail just looks incredible on that figure and like i said the mcu uh, hulk is one of my favorite characters in the marvel cinematic universe so extremely excited for mezco's gladiator hulk from thor ragnarok because it looks like an amazing piece and cannot wait to have it in my collection so that's my number three now moving on to my number two which is The SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Kid Goku, and I've been wanting Tamashii Nations to make us a Dragon Ball version of Kid Goku forever, for years now, and finally, finally, they will be making it, and he's just releasing next month along with Jiraiya, so I'm very excited for this one to release. The last time I saw him on display, though, that Kid Goku, he looked very large, a little too large compared to the other figures in the line. So that's something that does worry me a little bit. But I know we're going to get a bunch of awesome accessories. I'm hoping the articulation is dope. And the detail just looks outstanding on it. And I cannot wait to get that figure next month when it releases. That is one of the, uh, one of the versions of Goku I've been wanting them to make for a while, along with Super Saiyan 4 and now Ultra Instinct. So very happy we are getting that kid Goku. And I cannot wait to have it in my collection next month so that is my number two now moving on to the final number one which is the sh figure arts dragon ball z majin vegeta and this is the next version of vegeta i've been wanting them to make for such a long time and we are finally going to be getting Majin Vegeta. They haven't given us a release date for the longest time as well when they first revealed him. And a lot of people were getting nervous about it, but they kept showing him at different events that they would be going, that they would be at. So I, I kind of figured they were going to be releasing him. We just didn't know the release date. And recently we just find out, found out he's going to be releasing in May. So extremely excited about that. The detail does look great on the figure. Uh, yeah, they could have updated the sculpt of the hair, but um. I'm going to be happy with it because we're finally getting a Majin Vegeta in the SH Figure Arts line. And I know that's a lot of people's favorite version of Vegeta. So I know a lot of people are going to be very happy when that figure releases, including myself. And I cannot wait for that one to release. And these, my top 10 or all the figures that we know that are releasing as of right now is only the first half of 2018 there's still the second half of 2018 for figures to release so still a lot of stuff to be revealed and announced but as of right now these are my top 10 most anticipated or most wanted figures of 2018 be sure to let me know in the comments below what your top five or top 10 most anticipated or most wanted figures are of 2018 and we can bullshit about it in the comments below but anyway that's my video i hope you enjoyed it if you would like to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell and if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome but thanks for watching i will see you later